Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Prasanna Chandan Kedi and today we'll be looking at chemical energetics which is part of IGCSC chemistry. Alright, let's begin. So under this, the, ch the specific thing we'll be looking at are two types of reactions which is exothermic and endothermic reaction. Alright, let's begin. So first of all we have exothermic reaction. So what is exothermic reaction? Exothermic reaction is when energy is transferred to the surroundings from the system all right now when this happens the temperature of the surrounding increases and the enthalpy change is negative or energy change the same thing all right so what are some examples of exothermic exothermic we have combustion or oxidation we have neutralization we have a metal plus the acid or what or water which is h2o or okay um, oxidation is O2 in the reactants then we have nuclear reactions and respirations all right now let's look at the energy level diagram so what's be, before we look into it what are energy level diagrams they are basically graphical representation of the relative energy of the products and the reactants all right so now this is the graph for exothermic and you have to remember it by heart okay so let me just label it. so this part is called the transition state transition state i forgot to add that all right so what happens in the exothermic is that the reactants have more energy than the products over here so as you can see the energy of the reactants is more than the energy of the products now when you're labeling the diagram it's important that you put energy on your y-axis and progress of reaction or if you if you do if you can't remember that one just put time all right this is the one i prefer all right so it goes like this it comes down so another way to represent this is like this which is most commonly going to come in your exams probably like this like this all right so then we have our reactants over here and we have our products over here and then it's important for us to draw the arrow telling us energy is released all right and then we also have activation energy which starts from the reactants all the way to the transition state and we'll talk about activation energy as we move ahead all right let's move on to the second type of reaction endothermic reactions all right i don't know if i okay i i, I haven't said this so remember this okay let me just do the definition and then i'll tell you about it so endothermic is basically when energy is taken in from the surroundings all right into the system into the system all right so what happens is that enthalpy change is positive and energy change is positive in this the temperature of the surroundings decrease all right okay now let me just tell you one way to remember this definitions um, yes so when uh, for example endothermic endothermic the en of the endothermic means to enter like just remember en stands for enter which will help you remember that energy is entering the system from the surroundings and when it's exothermic exothermic the EX will help you remember that energy is leaving the system into the surrounding exit. Alright. Now what are some examples of endothermic reaction? We have electrolysis, thermal decomposition, we have cooking, we also have me uh, melting, and the first stages of photosynthesis. Alright. Now let's look at the energy level diagram for a endothermic reactions. Again we have our transition state over here transition state then re, uh, progress of reaction or time let me just write it quickly energy in our y axis all right so now in endothermic reaction the reactants have less energy than the products the products have more energy over here here and here all right so when you're drawing this it can also be drawn like this sorry for my bad drawing really sorry all right like this energy is absorbed in endothermic that's why enter e n 
all right and then activation energy as i said starts from the reactant so activation energy goes all the way to the transition state so this is our activation energy is written as e a all right okay let's see let's move ahead activation energy it is the all right let me uh, define this it is the minimum amount of energy required for a chemical reaction to occur it is the minimum amount that's something you have to remember so that um this is the like this is where the activation is this is the minimum amount of energy required for endothermic reaction to happen all right let's look at the last part oops bond break uh oh just give me a second yeah bond breaking and bond forming okay so always remember that bond breaking is endothermic and bond forming is exothermic why so because in endothermic energy is needed to be taken in from the surroundings and energy is transferred to the surroundings from the system in exothermic all right all right one more thing i would like to add is that in ex um, let me just write it down so that you all will remember in exothermic let me just write exothermic reactions reactions the energy the energy taken it sorry the energy given out given out is more is more than energy taken in now this is something they might frequently ask you in your exams to define exothermic reaction without like the first definition that i give you question related to like that and the same thing for endothermic in endothermic reactions the energy taken in taken in is is more than the energy given given out all right with that um, let's move on to yes enthalpy change now i mentioned enthalpy change a lot of times so there uh, a lot of questions will come on how do you calculate enthalpy change very easy enthalpy change or energy or energy change is, a, is basically energy in that is the products it's sorry, sorry 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 reactants minus energy out reactants, which is products now another easy way to remember is ea ea o ea ea o just remember it like that and you'll be fine and i think that should be it i hope you understood everything and if you have any questions make sure to put it in the comment section below that'll be all for today make sure to like share and subscribe and yeah bye bye Ta -da.